Paula Mejias gets us started. 14.75 to qualify second. Has trained in Florida for a number of years. Oh dear. You know, she stood at the end of the runway for a little bit of extra time, I thought. I, what happened there is she just didn't have her steps, her run figured out. So what happens is this vault actually counts. Had she run past the board, she would have received an extra turn. So how you know, do you account for something like that? Is that nerves? Is that it, an experience? Of course, nerves or uh, perhaps in the warm-up earlier in the day, she was feeling something wasn't right. But, you know, th this is one of the apparatus that you want to make absolutely sure you're comfortable on, uh, especially with the type of vaults these women are performing and the approach to the board. So what has to happen now is plan B. She will only have one vault that she'll be allowed to perform. But the one vault stands as her score. It will stand as her one and only score. She has to calm herself down now. Think about what's going on. I have felt that before. I have felt my run off, as we say. And it's, um, it's not a good feeling because you're adjusting and your mind's racing a mile a minute. She just needs to really focus on this one. Wise decision there. Very, very smart for both athlete and coach. And I believe her coach had something to do with that. And what are you talking about in terms of it a wise decision? It was over anyway. There's no medal chance. It's not, it didn't work out the way she had ever planned it to work out. It was just important for her to get some confidence, to take something away from this competition. This wasn't the vault she was planning to do. It's very simple, but I think a wise decision. Yes, it, it doesn't matter anymore. So just explain for those who aren't familiar what the decision really was. Back over to the vault. You see Paula Mejias there and the score 6.112 for vault two. No score registered, or at least the vault average 6.112. 